Okay. Welcome back to This Is Living, you guys. I'm assuming you clicked on this video because of the title, Why No One Likes the New Pipe Masters. I'll get into that. But right now, I am just checking out what surfboards I have ready for that event. This is what I was just doing. But I was thinking about riding this thing, Wavestorm. Call it progressive. Might get scored super high because their judging criteria looks pretty funny. But yeah, uh, I got a few boards. And the forecast looks like there's gonna be some waves. It's right here, so let's see. I'll show you real quick. Thank God there's gonna be barrels because it looks like they've said from the judging criteria that they're gonna score big errors just like big barrels at pipe, which is I don't know. I don't totally agree with that. A lot of people I know don't agree with that, but the 16th through the 18th this week look like there's going to be some solid pipe waves. So hopefully we get some good waves and we get to bust out some pipe boards. But yeah, basically what's happening is there's a lot of people, I'm probably going to be the only person that says this, but a lot of people don't agree in the surfing world the actual surfers about what is going on with the new pipe masters and I call it the new pipe masters because it's so different than previous pipe masters the pipe masters I grew up watching and wanted to be a part of and wanted to win my entire life this this is not it because the pipe masters I was used to seeing was the best guys in the world came here to North Shore of Oahu and surfed against a few of the locals and if you won that event you were a pipe master in elimination rounds but this new one, they kind of just straight up copied the Dehui Backdoor Shootout, which is a contest my family puts on and has put on for years now. And the format's amazing, but they didn't give any credit to that at all. So how they copied the shootout is they used the same heat format and they went and made everyone pick their heats out of a hat, which is exactly what the shootout's been doing forever. What do you guys call yourself? Do you have women included? So this is how the squad. This is the squad right here. They decide the heat draw. We pull them out of a hat, and that's the heat number you get. You got X Y Z because we're on teams. I'll explain more in a second, but. And they've never like the sponsor of the event or the WSL has never really helped too much with that event ever. If honestly, they've kept some of their athletes out of the event, like tour surfers and whatnot. But they saw how sick it was and they're like, oh, we'll just take that and not give any credit to the shootout or help it out in any way. So that's a little strange to me. And like, I don't know, no one else is talking about it. So I guess I'm gonna be the only one talking about this. And I know I'm not the only one that feels this way. So yeah. Um, and nor is it the same format I'd like to see for the Pipe Masters, to be completely honest. We get to serve three times and there's no elimination up until the final, which is just whoever has the top four guys or something who has the three or four best waves is in the final. And the money's really good. So you're gonna be like, oh, why are you hating on if you're gonna do it anyways? I'm like, well, you can make more money at this event than surfing the big wave event at Jaws, so. I'm gonna do it, yes. But I'm also gonna bring a little bit to light on what everyone's thinking and why it's not the same prestigious event that the Pipe Masters has always been. One being the judging. They're gonna score big errors just as, big, just as high as big barrels, which means like you can go sit on the shoulder and just try to do errors at pipe. I don't know. If pipe was an airwave, there'd be guys out there on the shoulder every day just doing airs. Why there's not? They're saying it's the best airwave in the world is, I don't know. I've talked to some air guys and they're just like stoked to be in the event, but they're also like, I don't know, I might go try to get barreled. So I'm like, whatever. Another thing that's not the greatest about this event is they invite a lot of people who honestly never surf pipe and I watch a lot of their interviews and like their invite stuff and they're like yeah I haven't surfed pipe in 10 years I'm surprised I even got invited to this event 
I'm like, yeah. I'm surprised that guy got invited to the Pipe Masters as well. So that's one of those things, it's like, dude, John and Kelly aren't in it. Is it really the Pipe Masters? I don't think so. I think if I won, I wouldn't even consider myself a Pipe Master. Nor would I consider anyone who wins this event that's structured this way with these people that are in it a Pipe Master either. I know that sounds a little harsh, but it's kind of just true. I talked to quite a few people that feel the same way. But it is what it is. The money's really good. I'm gonna do the event, so go ahead and leave your comments down there if you want. And yeah, the comment section is gonna be pretty amazing of this one. But I'm just saying what a lot of people are thinking and no one's really talked about. And I feel like there should be a little bit of this talked about, so that's why I'm talking about it. And if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments and whatnot, I can make another part two. And yeah, I'll be sitting out there at pipe in a heat in the Pipe Masters with two air guys who've never surfed the wave. I mean, good for me. I get to get lots of pipe waves because, and there's no priority. So that means like you can pal around anyone. No one's got priority at any moment, which I really like, but it's not the Pipe Masters to me. They took that from the shootout as well. The WSL's had priority for how many years now? The shootout never had priority. And what'd they do? They copied it. They didn't say a word about the shootout. It's okay, the shootout gets the best waves anyways. But uh, let's go. Should we go check the waves? There's low waves right now. The vent's off, but um, let's go take a look. Oh, thank God there's gonna be waves for this event. Cause then it would just be a strictly air contest. You know, there is things, who knows? This contest could turn out great and even better and more prestigious than past Pipe Masters. But I'd say there's about a 1% chance that happens, so. I'm not trying to just be negative or whatever. It's just like a little, a little bit upsetting as a surfer from North Shore who's watched the Pipe Masters their whole life, you know, and wanted to be in it in their backyard right there. It's just kind of weird, honestly. But maybe change is good. Who knows? We'll find out when the event runs. And I guess if airs really should be included into the judging criteria out there we'll find out as well because the ct will be running in late january february i think so who knows i would love to be proven wrong about everything i said and what a lot of us are thinking because maybe it is the future but I don't know, I don't see it, and a lot of people don't see it, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see you out there. Can we go down there, check it out? It's my elementary school right there. My master's right across the street. The artwork is amazing. Soaring. Soaring, yeah. Oh, good job. Good job, Pipe Masters. <laughs> yeah, hold on, man. Not the same. Not the same. There's no John John, there's no Kelly, there's no Gabriel, there's no Idolo in the event. None of those super gnarly guys. Who else is gnarly on the CT out here? Well, I don't know. It's just not the same. But time goes on. Time waits for no man. <laughs> I'm just this is the back road to Pipeline. Security guys. Hey guys. Yeah, cool. yeah, that was it. Yeah, hey. <laughs> God, I just rolled down my window. I got allergies. <laughs> So sensitive. <laughs> like, why? Why are you gonna hate on the event? 
this hard and then do it. Because the money's good. If you win, you get a hundred grand. Of course, I'm gonna do it. Not gonna. Don't have to like the event, but I'll go out and try. That's for sure. <laughs> you want me to do an air? I'll try doing air. Hundred grand. Won't like it. I'll try. This isn't actually coffee. It's vodka. Mix with coffee. Wave These are the, on the other side of this board is the Pipe Masters Champions. Someone graffitied it. What? I don't know. Whoever wins this event should not be put on that little plaque because on the other side of that is every Pipe Masters Champion. Oh well, someone had to say it. Yeah, it's kind of like it's like Waco. You know that wave pool in Texas. What do you guys think of when you think of Waco? Do you think of the little barrels at Waco, or do you think of the massive airs? It's kind of like inviting me to Waco and being like, "Hey, we're gonna score you on the barrels." So you get scored just as high as one of these guys that do a crazy air. If you just pull into an artificial wave. It's kind of how I see it in my mind a little bit. Just the opposite. Like, hey, come to the best barreling wave in the world and do airs. Like, why would you even invite people to do that? I don't get it. Then again, could be proven wrong. I'm honestly excited to see all, how all this goes down. It's going to be entertaining. I will, I will not mind if there's guys in my heat that just want to sit on the shoulder and try airs. Honestly, it's kind of a good thing. But to call it the Pipe Masters again, what this video is about, I just, I don't think I can call it the Pipe Masters. Call it like a, <laughs> we'll call it the Woke Masters. The Woke Pipe Masters. <laughs> But I will leave you guys with that. Let me know in the comments what you think about the video, any questions you have, and yeah. Again, I'm just trying to be very transparent about how everyone feels here. And yeah, that's, that's all I got for you guys. Let me know if you want a part two.